The journey of twin flames is never easy. It can be full of obstacles we can't even imagine and lessons we didn't realize we had to learn. But one of the most difficult situations that twin flames often face is when one or both twin souls are already married or in a committed relationship with someone else. So you're sure you've just met your twin, experienced an encounter like no other and fallen head over heels in love. But soon your happiness is replaced by a feeling of overwhelming devastation when the sad reality comes in. They're already married. Endless thoughts flood your mind. Will we ever be together? Is this really my twin flame? Should I leave? First of all, try to stay calm and not rush things. Going crazy with guilt is not going to lead to anything good right now. Once twin flames meet each other in this life, the journey begins. But don't be fooled into thinking that things will happen quickly or the way you would like them to, because they often don't. For both Gemini flames, it is impossible to deny the connection once you have felt it. It may take one twin flame longer than the other to discover and realize the true depth of the connection, but it always happens in divine timing and you should not rush things or even worry about them if at all possible. Try to realize that you are in a very delicate situation right now. The thought that you might be attracted to someone outside of your marriage is a frightening prospect that comes with a whole host of frightening thoughts and emotions. There's a chance that your Gemini flame just doesn't want to deal with it and will pull away from the connection completely and they have every right to do so. Not all twin flames are destined to come together in this incarnation. And as hard as it may be, we may just have to accept it with grace, love, and understanding. Sometimes both twin flames realize almost immediately that there is something special between them. And sometimes it can take years or even entire lifetimes before both twin flames fully realize their connection. If you are convinced that you are twin flames or soulmates destined to meet, your supposed twin flame may not feel the same way. In this case, as with any relationship, it is best to walk away. The feelings should be mutual, even if your partner is unaware of the concept of the twin flame they will still feel inexplicably attracted to you. So don't try to force something that just isn't there. Perhaps it was just a crush and not your twin flame and don't feel bad about it. It's better to be aware and continue on your path than to waste your time. You've become close enough friends that you both realize you have strong feelings for each other. Whether you declare them to each other or not, both Gemini flames will have a lot to think about. Relationships can get messy quickly and Gemini flame couples are no different. Just because you are Gemini flames doesn't mean things will be easy. On the contrary, it can make the journey even more difficult. Don't get frustrated. The universe will not give us more than we can handle or less than we need to learn how to connect. Believing in the divinity of connection is essential to allowing the path to unfold before us. I am not for a second condoning cheating. Infidelity is extremely harmful to all involved and should be avoided if at all possible. 
but I also sympathize with the often overwhelming feelings of lust, love, and attraction that twin flames and soulmates can face when they unexpectedly find themselves in each other's lives. If you and your twin flame have already crossed this line and have been getting intimate behind your partner's backs, it may be worth slowing down and not rushing things. Remember that everything you do now will eventually reflect back to you through your twin flame's mirror. In the long run, it will be best if you do what you can to prevent others from getting hurt now. Twin flames may spend several lifetimes creating and clearing karmic cycles before joining in full union. This past karma often affects other souls as well. Wives, husbands, relatives, and friends may be familiar souls from past incarnations. It is quite possible that you, your twin flame, their or your current partner are experiencing this for a reason. You may have already met each other under very different circumstances in a past life. You may have already spent many lifetimes together, making mistakes, learning soul lessons, and spiritually evolving together in many different scenarios and lifestyles, creating chaos and karma wherever you go. These karmic cycles will continue. One way or another, whether we like it or not, we have free will and the ability to choose how to act in any situation we face. So be open and accept your karma with grace, doing your best not to create new negative cycles because they too will have to be worked out and all the wrongs we cause now will come back to us. Ultimately, all twin flames are destined to reunite. We just can't predict exactly where or when that day will come, but it will surely come. For now, continue to focus on your individual spiritual growth. You cannot control the rate of your twin flames awakening, nor can you know what individual or joint karma he and his current partner have. They may still have their own cycles and lessons to go through before your twin flame can fully recognize or accept the connection. Take care of your energy and try not to intrude on your twin flame's marriage or relationship. If you are meant to be together and not them, then so be it. You don't need to bring negative karma or energy upon yourself by being the one who causes pain or suffering in their relationship. Plus, if your Gemini fire is in a marriage that isn't designed to last, it won't be, even without your involvement. Marriages break up every day for a variety of reasons. If fate wants you to be together, it will pave the way for you. You may be destined to become close friends with your Gemini flame in this lifetime, and there is nothing wrong with that. Both Gemini flames may be destined to marry or spend this incarnation with their other half romantically. And this is magical and powerful in its own way and should not be missed. So don't deprive yourself of other potentially life-changing and beautiful relationships that may develop, go with the flow, and you may be pleasantly surprised at where your path will take you. Also, here are a few tips you can follow if you find your twin flame is already married. Meeting a twin flame is very rare. Since each of us can only have one, most people don't even meet theirs. So for having met yours, it's already a reason to be very grateful. Also, a true twin flame bond means that you will enrich each other's lives just by being around each other. Marriage, 
while perhaps ideal, is not strictly necessary. When you get close, the energies within you immediately synchronize, and you begin to understand yourself more deeply because your soul has been reunited with its long-lost half. The beauty of your twin flame encounter is that you suddenly feel like you've found the missing piece and a sense of belonging, whether you find yourself together or not. There are things in life that we can't always win. Realizing that you can't always get what you want is part of our maturity. Marriage is a lifelong commitment that people make to be with the person they feel is best suited for them. It is a union recognized by all religions and acknowledged by all governments. So trying to tackle this issue head on is a very long and uphill battle. Not to mention it has caused emotional scars to many of the people involved. In fact, if you decide to take your twin flame away from his or her spouse, you run the risk of destroying your bond, and in future lives, you will struggle to repair it. After all, actions have consequences. A twin flame connection is a very high level connection and it doesn't necessarily have to lead to a romantic relationship. In fact, it can even be the best of platonic connections. A relationship with your twin flame goes beyond a normal marriage. While marriage is great, twin flames who are truly confident in their relationship will have no problem becoming good friends. There are benefits to finding your twin flame. Since they are a mirror of yourself, they can help you realize things you've never seen before. Just like looking in a mirror, you also see the ugly parts of your soul. And this can sometimes push you out of your comfort zone. This sudden awakening forces you to face the darkest sides of yourself and turn you inside out. Twin flames can have conflicting but wonderful transformative effects when you interact with each other. But that doesn't mean that you necessarily need to have a romantic relationship in order for growth to occur. Your love for your twin flame should drive you to relentlessly pursue the direction of your dreams. Work on that. There is a resonating harmony between the two of you that is intense to say the least and immensely satisfying. I suggest you savor this experience as a springboard to making a true best friend. Never underestimate the power of friendship. It will give your life the fun, laughter, and honesty you need, which you can't always get with a lover. In a true friendship, there will be no worry. You won't have to worry about them leaving you or cheating on you. Also, you can really feel at ease and not have to be constantly on guard. So don't have any ulterior motives. Trying to flirt while you're having fun or seducing them and trapping them with leading questions. This will only ruin your relationship, especially because they are committed to someone else. Just be comfortable and enjoy the company without guilt. However, if you can't be friends because keeping them so close to you is painful, keep your distance. Your twin flame is a spiritual connection that can revolutionize your life and help you thrive. It's easy to assume that this rocky connection should lead to something romantic and sexual. But if they are married, 
it will only complicate things. You will feel frustration and despair if you can't have them. Let go. Don't dwell on the things you think you're missing because you're already complete. Don't let it define you and cause discord just to satisfy your own view of destiny. Focus on yourself and the beauty of your life. And who knows, one day you'll figure out how to make sure your twin flame is by your side. Until then, it's all about you.